opening of this magnificent and iconic building. This building symbolizes the confidence and the character of Regina, of Saskatchewan, and of course of Rider Nation. The stadium also represents the revitalization of our downtown, of our beautiful city, and the capital of our beautiful province. This is the first phase of the Regina Revitalization Initiative, as you know, the second phase being the development downtown, that the rail yard renewal project, and of course the final one is the Taylor Field neighborhood. We're seeing a transformation of our city, of our capital city, in so many great ways. Your city councils, both past and present, with our partners, the governor of Saskatchewan and the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, had a vision of a, a big dream, a plan, to prepare and build this beautiful facility. So for me, these people are the true leaders, the visionaries, who see what's possible beyond just the bricks and mortar. They had a clear picture of what could be and what might be, a bold and bright and confident future. So in many ways, that future is here today. So I want to recognize some of these outstanding people who are responsible for getting us here today. I want to start with former Mayor Pat Fiacca, who led the announcement of the RRI and made the stadium possible. Pat, where are you? Standing up, Pat. I also want to talk to my current council colleagues who have been working very, very hard as well. Councilor Barbara Young, Bob Hawkins, Andrew Stevens, Lori Bresciani, John Fendura, Joel Murray, Sharon Bryce, Mike O'Donnell, Jerry Flagel, and Jason Mastinetti. They're all here in the front. Stand up, please. Come on, Council. Stand up. They're doing lots of work to help us out. And past councils as well have done a lot of work. Louis Brown, Jocelyn Hutchison, Fred Clipsham, Sean Frazier, Brian Burnett, Wade Murray, the late Terry Hicks, Chris Zarka. They all work very, very well. And of course, Creamer Badwall, G. Makowski, Ken Shiveldayoff, and from the Riders, former Chair Roger Grenvold, current Board Chair Wayne Morsky, past President, or sorry, current President, Craig Reynolds, and former uh, President Jim Hobson. Our builders, PCL, Sean Hamlin and Mike Sarkowski, we mentioned earlier, HKS gonna, Architects, Mark you're Williams, and, and uh, Greg Whitmore, also, I mean, Talk about the importance of building a facility, the architects and builders, the dream, then the reality right here in front of you. So I also want to talk about our city of Regina staff as well, and I, there are a few people I want to name here as well. Uh, Chris Holden, the MC today, our city manager. Our former city manager, Glenn Davies. Our former CFO and executive lead, Brent Schoberg. Our executive director of city services, Kim Onright. The former head of major projects, Kelly Shear. Current Major Projects Director, Roberta Engel. Communications Lead, Nathan Morrison. Major Projects Manager, Rod Schmidt. Uh, I want to talk a bit about Rod because he's been here all along. He can actually tell you the number of blades of fake grass we have in the grass where we've been here so long. Thomas Moore and Jean, uh, Janine Derenich as well. And with our steering committee, we have Ryan, uh, Byron Reary and Ian Ray. Let's give these people a great round of applause for their leadership and vision. project, aside from it actually being built, for me, is that it, this project came in on time and on budget. And I never get tired of saying that, because it's true. Tomorrow we're going to see a regular season game here, the first one, and it's going to be a great source of civic pride. And I know that you will enjoy this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Rider Nation, enjoy your new home. To residents everywhere, please know that this facility is truly a community-owned facility for everyone to enjoy. Minor soccer, minor football, concerts, international friendly games, the soccer will be here. The possibilities are endless. In a few moments, we'll reopen the beautiful Confederation Park that's just behind you here. We'll restore it to its former glory. It's another gathering place for pre-game festivities and other celebrations. So ladies and gentlemen, we should, all, we should always celebrate our accomplishments. We live in the best city in Canada, the best province in Canada, and the best country in the world. We can have big dreams, and we can accomplish them. Through 
strong leadership for the city, the province, and the riders, we have done just that. So as we enjoy the game tomorrow, and we celebrate Canada's 150th birthday, let's celebrate our accomplishments and realize just how fortunate we are. Let's look back, uh, let's look forward to make new memories of this day for years to come. Thank you very much for being here today, everybody. And oh, by the way, go Riders! Thank you very much.